I think the the figures, the the um, seventy to ninety percent gone with another half a degree of global average warming above the one degree we've already experienced, is on the more pessimistic end of the spectrum. Um, it doesn't take into account the possibility or indeed the likelihood of a uh, reasonably rapid adaptation by coral reefs to global warming. So my opinion is a little bit more optimistic in terms of the future trajectory of reefs. I think if we can achieve the one and a half degree target, then we will still have coral reefs. I don't think we'll lose 90% of them, but they will be quite different from the coral reefs of today and the coral reefs of yesterday. So the reason I'm saying that is the information we've garnered from studying places like the Great Barrier Reef for the last 30, 40 years. So those reefs are changing. So when bleaching occurs, it's actually incredibly selective. So in the science literature, we distinguish between species that are so-called winners versus losers. So the losers are the heat susceptible ones. So many branching corals, the corals that are the shape of a coffee table, are very susceptible to bleaching. So in 2016, about half of those species were killed on the Great Barrier. But the so-called winners are much more resistant.